after I already had made my website, I started hearing about my space. And I remember even going to my space to check it out, and my original reaction was like, well, I thought it was kind of ugly in a way. I didn't like how things were laid out and how the pictures were, you know, displayed. I didn't like either how it seemed so messy to me with all those pictures all over the place and I hated not having control over the design. I remember thinking that my website is so much pretty because it was, well, pretty, <laughs> later that I knew. And I think many people get caught up in the in the aesthetics aspect of their web presence and all that, which of course is important, but not as important as having a way to bring people there. It is all about people after all. My space is like a big city. I mean, a huge city. Messy and all. I mean, the energy is unbelievable. I mean, I love how people just go and read each other's blogs leave comments in each other's profiles and there are forums and you can just go and talk about things and the energy is there like a thunder if you spend enough time here it is impossible not to find somebody who shares your same interests or somebody interested in your product or your work and yeah that's why they call it social networking and bob's your uncle so ask yourself Keeping in mind exposure to other people, would you rather open your gallery or business in an empty island or in a city full of people? I think the answer is pretty clear. Don't you think so? Not to mention that my space is completely free and hosting of your little private island most likely costs you money. And don't get me wrong, I think there is nothing wrong with having a website. I actually recommend everybody to have a website as well. I have one. A nicely designed professional website can't hurt at all. So once you meet that certain somebody or that certain hundred or thousand somebodies, you can invite them to your island and that's where you will show them what you are all about. It took me a long time to realize the power of social networking sites. It wasn't until YouTube came along that I decided to give it a shot. I remember getting this email with this funny video of a kitty cat. It was something like that. Hi, I'm a kitty cat and I dance and dance and I meow meow meow. <laughs> and so on and so on. And that's how I found out about YouTube. I got addicted and started looking around YouTube more. There were many more funny videos and I noticed something I never knew about before. YouTube in many ways was just like my space. You don't just go there to watch funny videos. No, 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 no. You can meet people there. You can network. People who share your interest and like your videos will subscribe to you. Having a subscriber is a free pass into their living room, in a way, virtual way, of course. Next time you post a video, that person will see, see it right away and on the first page of YouTube and they will be notified by email. Yes, it's like they know you are there right away. And since they like your work, they will be very likely to watch that video that you just made, you know, the new one. You can invite people on YouTube to be your friends. Mm -hmm. You can do that and if you are active on YouTube, you will soon receive lots of friendship invitations. What is the advantage of forming a circle of friends like that? Hmm, you might wonder. Well, I will tell you. Next time you want to make an announcement, post a bulletin and your message will appear on all the channel pages of your friends. That's right. That means that not only your friends will read it, but also everybody who visits their pages will. So there you go. Two great social networking sites. Both of them have something special and unique that attracts millions of people. And on top of that, both of them are free. Check them out yourself. 
and don't forget these are not the only ones mm -mm. there are more and more social networking sites forming every day i decided i would give it a shot nobody would come to my little island and i really needed to get more exposure as an artist i was pretty desperate and decided to give it a shot to give it my best i decided i would try to make a kick-ass video in my strange and weird way of course but my own way and try all all the big places I could think of my space YouTube Google Yahoo video live video AOL video it was quite a plan wasn't it well deciding to do it was the first step I liked my plan and everything uh, but actually making the video and then mm, getting views uh, not that easy I realized that I just scratched the surface of a very large subject I could go like this on and on for hours and hours and hours but there is only so much room on the disc and I intended this segment to be a tiny itsy-bitsy bonus clip, that's all. And I feel like I've been talking already for a long time. Yes, I have, because this originally is supposed to be only 5 minutes long and it feels like, well, it doesn't feel. It is already 3 times bigger than it should be. So I guess I need to plan for bigger segments next time. <laughs> Anyways, I will pick up where I left off and continue with the series on the next DVD. Eat your cookies. Hmm.